Morning everyone. Well, if any, any of my friends out there know or any idea why YouTube keep uh, listing my latest videos as uh, not suitable for most advertisers. This is getting tiresome, I challenge it and, and they get reinstated of course, but uh, <coughs> I'm doing nothing now that I didn't do four and a half years ago. So it's getting a bit of a bit of a bother. So if anybody is in the know, anybody got anything to do with YouTube can find out how to fix this uh, thing. It's uh, well, I'll be grateful. Anyway, uh, Connie, one of our, our friends on YouTube and Facebook, uh, made a, a lovely comment on this one. He liked it. Um, would I do another one, but without putting all this stuff in? It's better if I'd have made something of this tree here. Uh, so. Of course, yes, it's uh, another idea. I like painting these uh, Norfolk scenes, type scenes, the flat landscapes. I'm uh, not sure I'll do the sky quite the same, but I might, you never know, because uh, uh, I make them up as I go along, really. So I'll do, I'll do that. So I'll put that to one side, uh, and I'll get a pencil and I'll, this is a terrific pencil. I don't know if you've got one of these. They are a great big lead. Lovely clutch, not expensive. And that's a 4B lead. So I'll just put a bit of a horizon in. I'll keep the horizon low. Give the cloud more, the sky more prominence. And we can do just a little bit of distance landscape and uh, we'll have trees coming along here and breaking through the the top of these these distant hills um, and then we'll put some bushes and stuff along here and I'll probably do just something here but, but I need to separate the, the uh, or move the buildings over a little bit so I'll make a collection of of shapes just just simple simple houses With a gable on that, if we remember, good tea spots. And we can do it a bit of a bungalow or something there. Just, just as an aid memoir. It's difficult trying to get the uh, roof lines right, but. Uh, But no, no detail on these, these are just in silhouette. No one there. Um, we'll put a bit of a, uh, we could call this a sort of a Kent scene really, if I put a host house in behind that. Let's do that. Most of these oast houses now are cottages. Very desirable too. Oast houses, they are for drying hops, but they're, they're all kiln dried now. I don't think any of them work. They, they were air dried. The hops will be hanging from inside the dome here and air dried and they could the air would come in and come up. I don't don't think they use fires, I don't know. Might be wrong there. But, but anyway that so that's that, that's all we're going to do with that and we just put trees along this. Well we can something like that. This is, this is a 90 pound rough paper. I might have to uh, draw my, put my blind. The sun is coming out now and, and it's just, it's getting lower every day. Uh, winter is a coming. Uh, right, 
Okay, I've left a bit of a margin at the bottom here so that you might be able to see a bit of my palette. Cadmium yellow, raw sienna, lizard and crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, paint grey and burnt sienna. So, uh, I've wet with the with yesterday's water. The paint has, the sediment has settled in the bottom of the my water butt. I'm using, I'm really in love with this brush. Uh, it's the uh, Ron Manson 30, 30mm medium hake. Alan was uh, using it the, the other day, week. So I'm using it. And I've got two. This one won't last as long as the the large one, Manson Hake, because it's uh, much lighter in in hairs. It's uh, but it's a beautiful, beautifully made. They're, lovely. they're so simple, but they're lovely. Right. Okay. Well, we'll we'll put in a bit of a the usual raw sienna in the sky. I think we'll get a bit more colour in this one. We'll wash over that. Right, okay. Um, now, there's good sky colour, is there? A bit of burnt sienna. Let's wash that in there. While the paper's wet. Bit of green, blue and, and yellow. A salt and green. Oh, we can put a bit of bit of uh, a bit of umber on there. <coughs> All right, put a bit of cloud in that sky now. I'll just reclip it. Even this is a, even with a light paper like this, ninety pounds, you can just keep restretching it as it expands, and you can keep it lovely and flat. Look at that; that's perfectly flat, more or less. Okay, so uh, do I want to try a different colour? I'm going to put a bit more bit of red in there because that I just want that colour. To show up a bit, right. And my my clouds are usually light red and ultramarine. So this is this is another one of profound simplicity. If I remember, I might go back over this with a bit of dry brush, but I'm. But I'm not sure. Okay, well that's a sort of an interesting sky there. Like a front coming in. Then come down to the horizon clouds will get closer and less distinct. Now I'm going to mix a bit of Payne's grey with that. Let's get a bit of that cloud shadow in there. Okay, clean the brush and a dry the horizon. Now I don't want that to, to blend. Uh, right there, dry it. So mute your sound or wind forward. Ready, go. Okay, 
pull it up a little bit there. Let's get that there. Lovely. Right, now we'll do a bit of background. Sky colour. But it all dries lovely and go over that. So this is now a Kent scene. Okay, let that dry. We'll do a bit of dry brushing over the uh, foreground now. So it's all our theme of keep it simple, stupid, kiss. What have I got there? Oh, it's my pencil, isn't it? Okay, a bit of dark in there. Dark green. So uh, this is going to be really simple, as simple as I can make it and still call it a painting. I, I'm going to put my little bit of detail with the tree going up there. Uh, if that's dry, I'm going to dry it off. Right, fast forward, go. I'm looking out of my window, it's a bright day, but not a cloud, but the sun is sort of peering through, it's quite warm, and the sky, the clouds, are really as diffused as that against the, the light of the, the light behind. This is probably just a little bit yellow. When I, when I look, the sky is just a slightly off white. I might remember try to remember to, to lessen the raw sienna. Put it on, but keep it that sort of colour. That's more accurate there, that's not. But I was trying to get more colour in. Right, now, with my half inch brush, I'm going to use those sky colours. And just, well, you've got to be a bit darker than the surrounds up. So that's, that's all I'm going to, to do on well, the colour mix. Well, that's not right, I'm going to smudge it. Nothing worse than putting your hand in, in the wet paint and spreading it everywhere. Now these are just silhouettes. to get your chimneys stacked straight. That's easier said than done, really. Okay. Oh, that's, let's put that in. No colour. Let's get that a little bit thicker there. And I think they would, t they would turn that cow at the top round with a long, long pole.
Okay, that, that, that needs to be a little bit darker. Here and there. Let's rub that in there. Right, okay, so that, that's the uh, idea of that. So while that dries off, I'm going to go back into here and, and just put in one tree, but I'm, well, just indicate where it's going to go. To go. A nice, nice warm, greeny. I like this uh, cad yellow. Just a nothing really. Just 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 a support for a little tree that I'm going to put in later. Now a little bit of a. Paint spray and a bit of bit of umber, uh, sienna. A bit of nice dry brush in there. I might have to put a little bit of elaboration in over there. I'm going to dry that now. forward right now um, I think I'll just add another plane in there so just a little bit warmer so a little bit of red in there and a bit of blue. Right. I don't want to do that too much because because if I do, the automatic focus on this camera will probably go out of focus. Uh, What a brush, eh? What a brush. Uh, what a paper. I'm always scared to, to go back to, to my Fabriano 130 pounds. Let's just turn that rag over. It's getting a bit wet and need to dry one. Right, now, I'm going to change brushes now. I'm going to use uh, what should I use? I can use this, oh, that. this sable. This is a Kalinsky sable. It's a second song. Just dry, dry off. We don't want to, we've got trees breathing into that. Right, this is a bit of fun to begin. Dark, burnt sienna, ultramarine. Now because I've kept my paints lovely and moist overnight, they, uh, Don't scrape it out. They um, are easy to dilute with a brush. They're just quite lovely. Not quite liquid, but they are all as good as.
Oh, I'll just put in some scrubby bushy things along here. Have to have some water on your brush, you can't. Not because you can't get into the little holes in the paper and the rough. A bit of blue in there, I think. Not that it will show up as blue, it'll just be a, a cool dark, I hope. Alright. This is where I'm trying to leave. It was just a temptation of putting too much in because Connie to get some more dark in here. Right, back to the hike. Silhouette, so a bit of Paint's grey and a bit of that's yeah. So it's all weighted over. The, the reason I put the tree in over here was to balance this side, but I'm going to be bold and put it here, and I'll just I'll have to do a bit of detail over there. So let's uh, put, put, put this one, this tree coming up here. A little bit of, uh, I've probably got up too high with that, but, but hey, a bit of autumn leaves. Okay, now just a few. Well, probably even that's too much, but uh, well, let's put a bit more weight. Let's put a few uh, darker bluey trees. Uh, no, that that'll be too much, won't it? I'm going to leave the sky. I'm going to put a couple of birds in. So, in the theme of more is less is more, let's put that in the mountain and have a look at it. Better as a more landscape. Try that. Put that one on. 
cuts out my lovely sky, doesn't it? So I'll put the usual one in. This one. That was cut for it. Well, there we are. Connie, I hope that's okay. Uh, I'll sign it. Find this one. Where's my sign over there? Here we go. And I'll go and get this upload, uploaded and hope it goes through. Probably won't. So I'll have to go on the helpline again. Okay, there we go. Right, thanks for watching. I'll just zoom out if I can and just bring that around to there. There we are. So another simple, well maybe maybe I could uh, just strengthen up that chunk a little bit, the colour of it. So just the usual suspects. We need a shadow there now, don't we? So let's uh, put a bit of shadow. Okay, that's it. No more. Finished. See you later. Bye bye, folks.